in this question, a student measures a lab bench and finds that it's 0 0.798 meters wide. We're then told the conversion factor 1 meter equals 1000 millimeters and asked how many millimeters wide is the lab bench. So in this question, we're asked to convert meters into millimeters. So we're going to use the dimensional analysis method. So we're starting with 0 0.798 meters in that top left box of our train tracks layout. Our next job is going to be writing some numbers and choosing some units in our second column. So we have meters as our unit initially, but we don't want to end up in meters. We want to change that to millimeters. So since I've got meters on top, if I divide by meters on the bottom, that's going to cancel out and the meters is going to disappear. However, we have to replace this with something and we're trying to get into millimeters eventually. So I'm going to put millimeters on top of the fraction. So that way the meters will cancel out and I'll be left with the millimeters, which is my goal. Now, if I just changed my unit to millimeters, it wouldn't be correct because there's a, uh, a conversion factor involved, which is one meter is a thousand millimeters. So we're going to need to put some numbers into our fraction here so that the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction are equal to each other. So we can see in our conversion factor, one meter equals a thousand millimeters. So I'm going to put one on the bottom since my meters are already on the bottom and 1000 millimeters on the top since I've already got millimeters on the top. So now you can see on the bottom, I have one millimeter on the top. I have 1000 millimeters and one meter is equal to a thousand millimeters. So the top and the bottom of this fraction are equal to each other which is why this fraction enables us to transform the unit without actually changing the meaning of the number and the unit overall. Okay, so now we've got to where we're trying to get to, which is millimeters. We're ready to do the math part. So what we're gonna do is multiply anything on the top row together, and we're going to divide by anything on the bottom. So to write that out, it would be 0 0.798 meters multiplied by a thousand millimeters divided by one meter. Now at this point, you'll notice we have meters on the top and the bottom, so we can cancel out the meters. So we're left with 0 0.798 multiplied by a thousand divided by one, and our unit is millimeters. So if we put that into our calculator, we get 798 millimeters.